All right, today we are making quilled snowflakes. Um, so this is the finished product and yours obviously will look different because it is your own, it is your personal snowflake to make. In your pack, thin strips of colored paper, two paper tubes, a half sheet of cardstock, a container of glue, cotton swabs, and you'll also want potentially a pencil and scissors. Definitely need the scissors. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is flatten your paper tube. So I'm just going to smush it down. And then take your scissors and you're going to cut your tube into even strips. If they're not, you know, 100% even, that is okay. Just adds a little depth to your piece. So I've got six pieces here. That's going to be the least amount that you're going to need. What you're going to do is you're going to take your pieces and you're going to arrange them on your paper, however you like, to get that snowflake shape. And then with the other pieces that you can cut, you can fold those or cut them in half, however you want to do it, to add a little extra decoration. So take your time and figure out what you want the whole thing to look like um, before you glue it down. So you can move it around. So once you've got it the way that you want it, you can take one of your Q-tips and your glue and you're going to coat the bottom. If you had a bigger container of glue, you could just dip it in, but I found that this works pretty well. And then you just press down. You want to make sure that it sticks to the cardstock all the way around. So hold it for a few seconds. I found that when I was doing mine, once I got my design on all the way, I sat it under a heavy book to make sure that the pieces stayed where I wanted them to and were secure to the cardstock. So you just let that dry. The Once it's dry, you're going to take your paper strips and I've given you a bunch of colors. Um, and they are secured with a rubber band, so if you want to cut that off, that way you won't rip your pieces. And you pick a color. And then with the other Q-tip, if you cut the end off, that way you can slide the paper off. Cut the end off and then you can use it to wrap your paper around. So this is the quilling part. The, um, the cotton swab will give you a tighter roll. And it's easy, but it is time consuming. This project took me a couple hours to do just between the glue drying and the paper rolling and getting the design the way I wanted it. So it's definitely not a quick project, but it is fun. All right, so once that's rolled up all the way, you can slide it off. Cut swab. So you can see mine's already unrolled a little bit, and that's fine. Usually you can just 
hold the center and pull it tight. So this one's very dense, densely rolled. If I want to loosen it up, just let go a little bit. And then once you have the size that you want, you can experiment with shapes, you can um, pinch it to make it more oblong, you can make it pointy. And then just figure out where you want to put it in your snowflake. Um, you're going to, again, use the cotton swab or the glue, and you're going to put it on the bottom of the roll. And if you want, you can glue the end, but you do not have to. And then you just sit it in. Again, pressing down to make sure that it is secure to the cardstock. All right, so you can see where mine's come unrolled a little bit and that's totally fine. What you can do is leave it or you can take another piece of paper um, and you can also cut these in length. So if you just need a tiny roll, go ahead and cut it. If you want a bigger roll, then you can use a pencil that will give you a wider misplaced my pencil, but it'll give you a wider circumference on that roll. So I'm gonna use the cotton swab again. the glue and I'm gonna pop it in the center of the last roll that I did so that's the general idea so you want to go ahead and Roll all that paper, fill in all of your paper tube sections on your snowflake until you get it the way you like it. I left the folded pieces blank because I like the way it looked. You can also use glitter to add some extras or you can use markers, crayons, colored pencils. It's totally up to you how you want your final piece to turn out. All right, thanks for watching.